Those cows are a riot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I thought I'd do a little favourites and feelings video. You guys know by now I don't really do these every month because I don't tend to try a lot of st new stuff to have one every month. So I just do them whenever I feel like I've got enough stuff to do them and August was a particular month for trying new things. I'm not going to talk a lot about feelings because I've been holding off of doing a life update because my life has been in limbo for quite some time. I think most people's lives are in limbo right now and I wanted to wait until I had more solid news but on the feelings front all I can say is I'm as happy as I can be right now with the current situation. Coronavirus is making everyone's life very difficult. It's making my life particularly hard um, on a certain front, which I won't talk too much about, but if you guys want me to do a specific video all about feelings and what's going on with me right now, even though it will be very much a up in the air video because nothing's solid, then please give the, thumb, the video a thumbs up, comment down below, all that good stuff to let me know, be vocal. So yeah, I've actually been enjoying face coverings or face masks. I don't have any to show right now because I lost mine. I had a purple face mask and I went to the beach on Wednesday and I dropped it on the ground. So I've ordered a few which I'm more than happy to show you because they're like funky ones when they come. But as of right now I'm barred to stay in the house because I have no face masks but I'm kind of... a lot of people are complaining about wearing face masks. I'm kind of enjoying them because it's just another way that I can express my personality through you know, face masks, it's another accessory. So I'm looking forward to getting my new ones and my mum got a, a couple of new ones too because she doesn't like the medical boring ones. But, on to my actual favourites. So the first favourite I want to talk about is Marvel. So you guys know how much I'm a Disney nerd and how much I love Disney. And Marvel wasn't always owned by Disney but it is now. But I've always wanted to watch all the Marvel films in the you know, the, the order, not the chronological order, the the actual, I don't know, the Marvel Universe order, we'll call it that. And I finally did, so that's why it's a favourite of August, because I think I must have started watching them at the start of August, and I finally finished them on Friday there. Oh my goodness, I loved every single film. They were all really really good. I think, I don't want to say least favourite, but I think the one that my least favourite was probably Black Panther. Don't come at me, it's just, you know, it was quite a slow film, but I still enjoyed it. And I think my all time favourite was Thor Ragnarok. I just, I just loved that film. And I howled. Something awful at Endgame. I, and my mum can vouch for that and my boyfriend can vouch for that. I howled. But I love those films. I'm now a Marvel addict and I just, I just want to get all the Marvel Funko Pops and oh, love it. The next favourite I've got is actually a really random one. It's nature. So this is kind of a feeling as well. This month I've been, I've been going out more. But the two places that I went out to, um, nature-wise, I went to Shatlerol Park, which is a country park uh, close to where I stay, and then I went to North Berwick Beach on Wednesday. And it may have been because both those times I went with my boyfriend, but both the times I went, I just felt so happy. I was so happy and at peace with the world and all we were doing was just walking and appreciating nature and I just I was just at peace with myself and I loved it and I thought I want to do this more I want to just go to a park and walk and just enjoy myself it's just being able to sit and have a picnic and skip rocks and it just I can't begin to describe how at peace and happy it made me feel 
going from nature to something a little less um, contemplative is Beanie's Cherry Flavoured Coffee. So I think you've probably seen it in a few of my vlogs. I've got a little jar, I would show you it, but I've showed it a couple of times in vlogs. It's just like a little jar of a uh, granulated, would you call it? Granulated, grounded coffee and it's flavoured coffee and it's cherry and flavoured coffee most of the time is very subtle and doesn't actually taste like what it says in the packet but the Beanie's cherry coffee does so if you love cherry you will love that coffee, I do and keeping on the cherry theme I've also been loving a uh, cherry Pepsi Max I had to say that slowly because I've gotten into a bad habit of saying it Chepsy Perry Max. But yeah, my boyfriend got me into it. He ordered a Subway one day and they accidentally gave him a Cherry Pepsi Max and said that uh, Pepsi because he doesn't like cherry so he was like blech and I'm like I'll try some of it. Instantly fell in love so I'm now just coming to the conclusion it's like hmm I like Beanie's Cherry Coffee. I like Cherry Pepsi Max. I think it's safe to assume that I really like cherry and keeping in with the cherry red theme, my hair. So my hair is still red, I did go to the hairdresser for the first time last week I think it was and I got it uh, topped up. So it's a couple, of, a couple of shades darker now, it's still very much aerial inspired, it's just a little bit darker because they didn't have that exact red shade in. And the plan was I was going to go through another drastic hair change, which I'm saying is drastic because I couldn't just go from A to B, I would have to. Red is one of the hardest colours to get out your hair, so I would, I would spend a couple of sessions lifting the red out of my hair. But I've decided I don't know if I'm ready to change my hair colour yet. I have an appointment in October to start lifting the red out so it would eventually probably go to an orange and to, to get it all over bleached. But I don't think I'm ready to get rid of the red hair. I really am really enjoying the red hair. I'm really enjoying strangers, complete strangers who don't know my love of Ariel, don't know my love of Disney coming up to me and saying your hair stunning, you look like Ariel. You have no idea, people say that to me like, I, my face just lights up like a Christmas on, eh, like a Christmas? <laughs> like a Wayne on Christmas morning, sorry, my, I was getting so excited I couldn't get my words out there. So I just don't think I'm ready to give up the red, who knows, October is still quite a while away, but we'll see. Next favourite I have is just Generally, I really have been enjoying makeup again, and I think I spoke about that before when I was doing my in my last video in my haul. I think that was my last video about how I went through a period where I just couldn't be bothered with makeup, and I think that had a large part to do with uh, the monster not going out anywhere and feeling like. I can't be bothered putting on makeup just to film to then wipe it all off because it, it takes me a long time to do makeup and I kind of want other people to see it or I kind of want to get the most out of it I possibly can. But I found a, a new YouTuber, Soph does, vlo well, Soph does vlogs and Soph does life and because she's from the United Kingdom, she talks about a lot of makeup products she can actually get in the United Kingdom. So she introduced me to Makeup Revolution. And I'm actually using my Makeup Revolution Constellation palette on my eyes today for the first time. And yeah, I just I'm just getting a little bit more into makeup, which I'm happy about again, especially with places opening up. And the last favourite I have is another kind of movie franchise and it's very very different so you guys may or may not know I have a bit of a dark sadistic side to me so you guys know I like mermaids and unicorns and Disney and girly things but I also love zombies and gore and blood and guts and Halloween and oh, it's, oh I love that side as well so I love horror films. I've always loved horror films and believe it or not there's a lot of classic horror films I've never seen. 
one of them being Saw. Never seen Saw. And it's only because I don't have access to the DVDs, I don't want to buy them and then find out I don't like the film. So when I was, my boyfriend loves horror movies as much as me and he's got them all. So we were thinking of a movie to watch, decided I wanted to watch Saw because I never watched it and he had all seven films. I never knew there was seven of them. All seven films. Oh my goodness, I watched the first one. The first one was great. The second one, great. The third one, oh, the third one's my favourite. Third one, great. Fourth one, mm, don't like it as much. It starts to go a bit downhill. Fifth one, again, it's okay. There's, you know, they're starting to go a bit eh, but that's what happens with these films. But the first three are fantastic. I've still got six and seven to watch and there's also Jigsaw, which I've never seen. And I think there's another Saw film coming out. I think it's maybe like a prequel or a sequel to Jigsaw. I'm not sure, but really love those films. I honestly think I can say they're possibly my favourite horror films. I know, I know, what a claim. But that is everything for this month. So yeah, lots of favourites, all different types. It's been a, a good month, a long month, but a good month. Got lots of things to look forward to this month and next month with Halloween and whatnot. And let's hope that things with the monster stay at bay and we don't have to go back to the way we were before because girl can't be putting up with that. So I hope you guys are staying safe, happy and healthy and I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Bye guys!